Welcome back to the seventh part of the Flutter YouTube search tutorial course. In the previous part we have finished the main search page by displaying a paginated list. We don't want to end it there though. We are going to add a detail page which will display the full description, tags and it will also feature a good looking app bar with an image. First, however, before we make the UI, we need to set up the data layer for fetching the single video information. Hello, welcome to Reso Coder, and in this video we are going to start off where we have started off in the first part of this tutorial course, and that is on developers.google.com, and we want to check out data API documentation, and now we are now going to search for the search list, like it is here, but we instead want to go over to videos and list because we are going to use this function of the YouTube data API to fetch only an information for a single video. And why we are doing this is pretty simple reason. The information of single video contains the full description and also the tags which we want to display in our app because the information which we get from the list of all videos does not contain the tags and it contains only a shortened description and not the full version of it. Also, if you want to go over to this documentation, the link is obviously in the video description. And then to check out the response from this videos list API, you want to go over to more here, select curl and you're going to get a nice really nice uh, URL part here. So just copy this and uh, insert your API key and the response and paste it in, into your browser and the response will look something like this. Here I have searched for an video, I video ID, which is for my video about build value tutorial for Dart and Flutter. So the format for this URL for getting a single video information is that you want to specify part equals snippet. Then you can leave this uh, alone. You don't even want to specify content details and statistics that is not mandatory. So you can leave this uh, to not be there. And then you want to specify ID here. And that ID is simply a video ID from YouTube and then your API key and you are going to be left with this kind of a response. So this response has also title, the full description and also what we want to have are tags and the tags are right here. And just like with the response from YouTube search list, we are going to make classes, built value classes even for this response for a single video. So we have a top level object video list response and then in that object are items and uh, each item has a snippet and basically this items array is kind of redundant because we have only one video with a particular ID but they have decided to put that in an array anyway but that array items will always contain only one item as far as I'm concerned because two videos on YouTube cannot possibly have the same ID but hey we are going to have to deal with this array too and then we have the video itself so let's get right to it let's create build value classes for parsing this JSON under the data folder, just like we have a place for search model, we are also going to have a place for detail model. So let's create a new folder under model called detail. And inside of it, we are going to have a bunch of classes, first of which will be YouTube video response dart. YouTube video response will be a built value class. So we again want to supply BLT header youtube video response and then this will be a serializable build value so blts and its name will be youtube video response and it's gonna have only one field which is for that array called items so it will have a built list containing a video item which is a class which is currently not yet present but we are going to make it in just a bit so video item get items then similar to how YouTube search can throw an error on us, YouTube video list can also throw an error. 
So uh, we also want to have a class called YouTube video error. We can just copy YouTube search error and uh, create new file YouTube video error dot dart and paste that YouTube search error over there. And we are just going to rename it to YouTube video error. And it can stay as it is now. It's just a simple exception having a message. Then the next item will be video item, which is contained in the list of items inside YouTube video response. So let's create that class right now, video item. This will be again a built value class. So built value header, video item, and also built value serializable. So BLTS, also video item. And its fields are going to be string ID. So get because we are inside a build value class and everything needs to be only a getter. And then also video snippet, which is again a class which we are just going to create in just a bit video snippet get snippet. So as always, we are basically traversing down the hierarchy of the JSON and just creating new build value classes as we go for everything that we need. So once we have the video item done, we are going to create the video snippet, obviously. So let's create new class or new file, actually video snippet dot dart again, BLTH video snippet and BLTS video snippet. And now video snippet is where the actual data which we are really interested in is located. There is a bunch of data like published as channel ID title and description, which are all strings. So basically string get published at and so on. And also, as always, you can get the code from the link in the video description, which is going to take you to resocoder.com. But then we have one really interesting uh, field here, which are thumbnails. And remember that if we go over to search snippet here, we have th thumbnails too. And these two thumbnails, which are in search snippet and video snippet too, are basically identical. Their structure is identical. So there is no point in creating a special thumbnails class just for the video snippet. We can use the thumbnails class right from the search snippet because the thumbnails structure is the same. And if you don't remember what thumbnails are or how thumbnails look like, they look like this. They have default, medium and high quality of the thumbnail and a single thumbnail looks like this. It has an URL and also the width and height of that particular thumbnail. So this is all the same across search and also the single video API response. What we can do is simply to use this thumbnail in video snippet. But that is not a good practice to mix up the packages because that thumbnail class is located under model search here under the search folder, search uh, thumbnail here, thumbnails.dart. What we want to do is to move these thumbnails.dart over to its separate own folder called common because the contents of that folder will be common across detail and also search model. So let's name it common. And now let's take thumbnail.dart. Now hit, uh, press shift, go over to thumbnails.g.dart. So these four classes, thumbnail, thumbnail.g, thumbnails, and thumbnails.g.dart. And let's uh, move these classes over to common here. We're going to break a bunch of things because we have um, changed the packages. So not everything fits now. For example, in model search.dart, we need to stop exporting thumbnails.dart and thumbnail.dart. Now we want to create a model common file under common. And over there, we want to export thumbnails.dart and thumbnail.dart. So that's cool. Then in search snippet.dart, we want to change from where we are importing thumbnails. So we want to hit control and dot and import it from model common. 
So now we are good to go. Inside the serializer, we want to do the same, but we are actually going to change the serializer in just a bit. So let's leave the serializer as it is for now. We're going to get to it later in a, a little while. And then inside thumbnails.dart themselves, we are importing thumbnail from the wrong package because now it's in the same package in common. So we want to import thumbnail.dart from model common here. And now we want to go over to where is it? Video snippet.dart. So the snippet which we have been just creating. And we want to add thumbnails, get thumbnails over here. And the thumbnails will be from model common.dart. And then we also want to have string get channel title and also build list string get tags because tags are an array of strings. All right, so that's awesome. We can close off thumbnails.dart, thumbnail.dart, model search. We want to save that search snippet. We also want to save that because that's cool. Then YouTube uh, search error that we can close also. So what we are now left with as open files are those files which we have created in this video, which is video item, video snippet and YouTube video response. These three files still have a bunch of errors inside of them because we have not yet generated the classes necessary for the build value to function properly. And uh, we can do that obviously by opening up our terminal and writing that we want to call flutter packages pub run build uh, underscore runner and we want to watch now again because we want to watch for savings of files and let's run this command and it's still not going to work completely well because we are still yet to add these created classes build value classes over to the serializer and actually the serializer itself is now kind of broken and we have some problems because severe conflicting outputs were detected at the build and the build is unable to prompt for permission to remove them these outputs must be removed manually or the build can be run with delete conflicting outputs the outputs are something something which is the thumbnail dot dart from the common and also thumbnails dot dart from uh, the common so these two files which we have moved thumbnails.g thumbnail.g.dart and also thumbnails.g.dart are conflicting because yeah we've moved the generated files folders and the build runner doesn't expect that so we actually probably are going to just remove them manually now so delete all of the g files the generated files from common folder and uh, let's also fix serializers.dart because over here we are uh, importing thumbnails but these thumbnails are from a different package now from the model common dot dart so let's import model common dot dart and also what we want to do inside this serializer is that we want to be using youtube video response then also video item and finally video snippet so now let's import all of these three classes but before we can do that simply by importing only a one so-called export file we need to create that so-called export file and uh, it will be called simply again model detail.dart and it's gonna contain the exports for every single file that's under the detail folder so video item video snippet youtube video response and also youtube video error so now let's save that and over in serializers.dart we can just import this single model detail.dart and now we can go again to the console and run our flutter packages pub run builder under watch command and now it should actually build everything fine oh yeah it's actually not yet going to work because we have not imported every class which we could so for example this video snippet is not imported we want to import video snippet here and also we want to import serializers obviously 
We are currently inside video item.dart if you're not sure where we are. And uh, then let's also go to video snippet.dart and let's import serializers. So import that, save, and now it's going to build just fine. And finally, we want to import inside YouTube video response, we want to import video item. And finally, also those our serializers, save that too. And now everything is built, everything is green in color and nothing is red, which means that we don't have any errors anymore. And also we can see that succeeded, the build succeeded with 22 outputs, 39 actions, which is awesome. And that is it for this video in which we have created the data classes, the built value classes, which are going to hold the JSON response in a Dart compatible format. In the next part, we are going to be using these classes, which we have just created by writing code in the YouTube data source for fetching a single video information. And also we are going to add code to YouTube repository. And also we are going to be creating tests for the YouTube repository to check out if that code runs properly. Because remember that we are doing this app in a kind of a test driven development way. It's only that we don't write those tests ourselves, but I only show you those tests because tests are take really long time to write. But anyway, you are learning even about test driven development from this tutorial series. So if this video helped you and if this whole tutorial series is helping you give this video a like and also share it. And also if you are not yet subscribed, definitely subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you join the notification squad and you become notified about every single video that I upload and it's definitely worth it. If you have anything to say about this tutorial, if you have any suggestions or questions, leave them in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and see you in the next video.